Hey guys, Melissa here. In this video, I want to show you how I wrap this giant stone here, which is kind of rounded off on both sides. There's no flat back to it. So I did a little bit of a weave there and some swirls. So if you want to see how I made this, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so this is a commission piece. This is my stone here. It's pretty thick, puffy, and fat. It doesn't have a um, flat back to it, so I think I'm going to need a substantial amount of wire. So when I figure that out, I measure my stone. And it's about five inches. And then I multiply that by at least three to give myself plenty of wire to work with, especially if I want to bring the wire back down and make some swirls and stuff. And today I have, I'm going to be working with sterling silver and I grabbed some 21 gauge square. Only because I'm out of 20 gauge. I would probably use 20 gauge because this stone is pretty hefty, but 21 gauge is what I have to work with, so that's what I'm going to work with. I also grab some 26 gauge round and 18 gauge half round. And now I need to figure out how many lengths of wire I need. I'm gonna do three times five is 15 inches. And I think four lengths should be good enough. And I always keep track of my wire. I write it down how much wire I'm using, especially if I'm working with sterling silver and also keep track of your time when you're making pieces so you can price them correctly have a timer going okay so I always pull out my wire with my polishing cloth all right so I have my four lengths of square wire and what I usually do is bind it with some half round but today I wanted to try weaving do like a herringbone weave so i'm going to do that first i need to find the center and determine how much i want to weave Let's see. i think an inch along the bottom would look nice i'm just going to work off my my bundle here okay so this weave i'm going to start it off about seven inches in Anchor this wire on with like three wraps. Incorporate your next wire. Kind of line them up. Line up the square. Go around both of them. And then come up the middle. Grab your next wire. Of course, you can use round wire. Okay, so I came up between the second and third wires. Now I'm going to incorporate my fourth wire. You can do as many wires with this weave as you want to. You can keep going with the same pattern. For today, I'm just using four. All right, and now at this point, I'm going to go around the top wire two more times, but then come up between under the third wire and up over the top. Come down in, in between the first and second wire. Go up around the second and third wire. Give that a little push. Come down around the first and second wire. Come down the back and up around the first and second wire. Just like that. And then go twice around the first wire. And I use my flat nose to kind of Keep my square wire straight. And at this point too, I'm gonna put my clamp on for extra assistance. And then keep going with your pattern. Up around the first and second. Come up in between 
the first and second and up above the second and third around those guys come up in between the second and third and up above the third and fourth and then in between the third and fourth go around once twice and then repeat the pattern and then keep going until you get your to your desired length i'm gonna go to an inch and i'll be back all right so this is the, what the weave looks like when it's done i did about an inch so now i gotta shape my wires against the stone here but first i want to take these outer ones and twist them up. I'm going to twist this side clockwise. I'm going to twist this other side counterclockwise. kind of sculpt the wire I rub my fingers along it helps warm it up and uh, helps me shape it a little better just keep working the wires until the kinks are out of them and you get your desired shape. Let me work on the back cradle now. Now push my weave tighter and then bend this back back wire inward. Same with this one. Push my weave tighter and bend my back wire so my stone isn't flat in the backs. So I'm going to kind of shape it around. I'm going to grab these parts and bend the wire back just so I make a cradle. He's going to bend outward just slightly because we're not flat. All right, so I'm going to leave the twisted guys alone. I'm going to bend these guys up, line these guys up, and where they meet at the top, kind of bend them up together. Just going to take some gentle sculpting again. I gently bring them together and make sure nobody's twisted and that they line up nicely. Kind of have to decide how high up you want your wires to go before they meet. I don't want this too high up because it's quite a big stone as it is. So I think about there should be good. I just keep checking, make sure we're even. I think this one went too bad right there. I'm going to use 18 gauge half round. I'm going to cut off about 12 inches. And I'm going to take my half round and I'm going to bind all these square wires together. Trying to keep everybody lined up and as straight as possible. I don't want my bindings to go too high since this pendant is so big. Bring that guy to the back, separate the two in the front and two in the back, 
and two in the middle we'll use for our bales. So I'm going to use the same binding wire. Snug that in there. And start binding the bale. My wires are wanting to twist on me, so make sure everybody stays straight. And I cut it off there. Okay, so this guy, this end guy, I'm gonna trim off. I'm gonna pull it through. And trim that guy off short. Bring my bail forward. You can use anything you want, if you got a dowel, pen, a sharpie, anything like that. Bring the bale wires through the middle. Kind of press it down. I know you can probably hardly see them, I got wires everywhere. Up and around, again to the back. And then now you can cut them short. I think that looks nice. It's kind of kinky through here, so I'm going to kind of shape it. Figure out where you want your twisted wires, kind of bend them back. Cut them to a more manageable length. Smoosh. That guy squeeze. Bring it around again. Just be careful. The wire's pretty hard at this point. We don't want to twist our frame out of bender frame. So at this point, our stone's pretty secure. Now it's just making the decorative pieces. Making sure everybody's tight. Let's slide around a bit. I think I'm going to take the second wire from the back and kind of bend that up too. There. That helped. That really helped secure the stone. Okay. Great. Now it's just a matter of figuring out what you want to do with the rest of your wire.
cut off a little more. Okay, I'm swinging around. I'm going to cut it in the back and tuck it in. Just like that. like these double wraps here. So I'm going to carefully cut them back and make them disappear. Tie that down. Grab some leftover 18 gauge. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to tie that down with some half round, and I think I'll be done. Put this guy through one more time. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done. Now I just go through, make sure everybody's secure. I have a lot of tool marks, so I have to go through and buff those out. Alright, here we are, all oxidized and polished up. So that's it for me, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.